this is Ishmael D and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be talking about JTEXT field and I'll be covering um, some certain validation. And yeah, I know it's been a while, I haven't been doing any videos lately, but hey I'm back. And yeah, back for some fun. So basically we want to check if the at notation is available on input. So when we click the submit button it would check for the art notation. If it's there, then woohoo, happy days. If not, then we're going to set this to blank or, you know, or just put J option pane and, you know, warning message or what have you. So, yeah, let's get crackalacking. All right, so this code, I will give it to people, to viewers that, uh, you know, need it upon request. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll put some comments there. So here we go to the if statement. We can do this in both ways. Uh, here I'm using action listener. You can use the key listener where it actually records the input from the keyboard. So whilst you're typing, and if it's there, then woohoo. If not, um, then you know. We basically, the code that I'm going to use today, you can copy and paste it in, into the key listener. I believe you're going to be using the key adapter. So enough talking. Alright, first thing, string, we want to get the text uh, on the JTEX field, so we go get equals uh, txt, which is my text field, get text to string. Okay. Alright, and another thing is a char, which is our uh, notation, so let's call this notation equals at. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to add another string. String. Um, let's call this name or status. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Set it to blank. Okay. So we want to scan through each character that we use, uh, that we input. Sorry. Um, so we're going to use a for loop. If for int i equals zero, i is less than get no not that I don't know why I did that um, length okay so I plus plus so you would f the loop would finish till the last character of the string so Ishmael would be would loop six times all right makes sense <laughs> hopefully all right so in the loop we want to check if any of the lengths equal this notation and we do this by char at so char char at if we put zero that's going to be the first character so what we want to do is put i because i is looping through each character so if um, get char at i does equal the notation then what do we want to do we want to set the string because we don't want to put SYSO, which is just shortcut control space. This is going to, because if the at is at the end and there's a long email, it would actually loop and it would be like, this isn't an email, blah, blah, blah. So we want to just put something as a string. So, so name equals this is a valid email. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, so else statement, if it's not true, then name equals this isn't an email. Why did I put capital? Such a bad habit. But yes. Okay, so this, we go outside the loop. We go, we can go super, we can, you know, add stuff to the J frame, but we're not going to do that. Just keep it simple. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try my best to respond. So what we do is SYSO, control space, and then name. Okay? And one thing, something wrong with this, is the fact that what if there's, I input two notations? We want to make a validation for that, so we go int, we can call it count or whatever, I'm just going to Okay, so here, if 
it's 1, if, it, if this is true, we want it to increment by 1. Okay. And if count is bigger than or equal to 2, then name equals this isn't an email. Or we can go txt set set text set to blank okay why two because it would loop twice because it would loop through all the chars in our string and it would find um, if this is true if the notation does equal true twice ah, I'm stumbling a bit <laughs> um, it would go through this if statement because if it's true it would go through this Oh, so much talking. <laughs> Alright, so let's go Ishmael. This is a valid email. And let's put other uh, at this notation. This isn't an email, so, and it sets it to blank. Hmm, I wonder if that's a good validation. <laughs> Alright, so Ishmael. This isn't an email. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Um, yes, as I, as I said, I will give this code. Um, upon request and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be doing more and uh, thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>